Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Team secrets turn to ban. Ten Let's double check in here. Remaining. Game sounds. Let's just make sure Five those are like all the remaining. way up. Oh, we'll, we'll jack that up a bit too. How about that? Sounds good. Oh, it's a fun little bug, isn't it? Oh, we didn't really look at this, did we? How's this thing? Who was the real hero of last game, eh? 45 7. Damn. Veno Mancer. What a hero. Pugna, too, though. The building damage as well. Well, mid one. You, you might get the credit for that. Ooh, geez. Oh, no. Oh no, they combine they didn't even combine for triple digits of building damage, guys. It was literally all creeps doing the work. Ten seconds remaining. They only managed to get to 92. Five double digits. Remaining. It's tough. It's a tough life. Okay, well, we're past that. This is old news. Take a good look. It's gonna be gone. Because it's time to go to game number two. Look at that nice draft overlay. Don't forget in five. Team secrets turn to paper. <laughs> Looks like we are not going to get a Yapsil Rubik again. As it's stolen right away here by my girl Alicia. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. We are also going to lose the Lich this time, too. Not going to leave it in the second phase. Uh, maybe we'll get an Ancient Apparition this game. It's possible. It's possible. Oh, how about a Faceless Void? I have been digging the Faceless Void in all of the games. So I'd be okay with that as being a good solution. Team secrets. Taking the time with Team Secret. What's the plan this time? Okay, Bane to open up. I've been seeing quite a bit of Bane, actually. you seen. He's got some interesting uh, facets to the hero, right? We all know about the cool combos. Maybe if you want some IO plays. Speaking of which, man, where are the IOs these days? Maybe that's what we need to salvage this series. It's a possibility. The Bane Marana. Five seconds remaining. I've seen quite a bit of Bane Marana lately, but it'll be the Shaker. So, some fresh heroes. Yes, they're pretty meta, at least. Uh, well, the Shaker is for sure. Bane, honestly, is getting to that point. He's showing up so often. Team secrets turn to back. And we'll go, oh! Oh! Okay! That's a Weehaw tree? Right away? I believe this is what we call the strats. Because uh, that's new. Very interesting. Maybe it's going to be a Weeha Rubik and a Soxa tree, but still, I, I only see say Weeha tree because uh, I saw him playing quite a bit, actually, in terms of his pubs. Five seconds remaining. I, uh, I wanted to play Trent because I really like the hero, and my name's Trent, and I think that's funny. So, uh, I've always, he's always been one of my favorite heroes when I first started Dota. And uh, he, he feels pretty bad right now, right? It's kind of hard to execute all of his plays and everything. Dyer. So I, I went and I watched a bunch of Weeha replays. I was watching him play some pubs, went through his Dota buff, saw him play this tree and protector. He won some games, he lost some games. Overall, it, it wasn't looking that hot. It was, it's a tough hero, man. The best games, at least from what I saw for like the competitive environment, comes down to just having people that can de-push towers, try and save those tier ones in the early game. Try and get yourself some good map control, get some split push, maybe like an Ember Spirit or something like that. And, uh, 
generally, like, what do you do? You buy a medallion, probably buy a Yule Scepter on the Train Protector. You want to be involved in the team fights. I mean, the dream is probably medallion blink, but sometimes you can't really afford the blink because you need some, uh, some more defensive measures against certain heroes. But we'll see what the plan is. Already so much more interesting with a Treant. So, Bane, Earthshaker, probably going to be either an offlane hero here for Team Secret or the position four if we'll get an offlane Shaker. But I can tell you I have not seen an offlane Shaker in quite a while. He's fallen off. He's down into the support tier. No more gold for Shaker. It was a good run. You had some fun. There were some cool early blink daggers, but for the most part now, we're going to be looking for a Fata hero. Major's Prophets banned out. The puck is still in. Which could make for a pretty good offlaner. Combos up nicely with the Earthshaker. Classic Fata hero. I'm voting for Puck. Oh! Oh no, he's still there. <laughs> it's Pugna. Uh, that could potentially be a Fata hero for sure. Uh, I know Universe has been buying quite a bit of Pugna, from what I understand. I, I saw one of the games, uh, and then I think they picked it again like right after. Okay, it's strats. It's team fight. We're going to have overgrowth right into the RP. And uh, on top of that, we're going to have empower. Now, I, I can't promise this is going to be an empower tree, guys. You know, I do my best. But likely. This will be a uh, another core hero coming out here soon. For my girl Alicia, who do you, who do you guys want? Combo up with the empower. Make your choice in the chat right now. Ooh, oh, no mercy here from Team Secret. Okay, so oh, this is nice. This leaves them with quite a few options, right? Monkey King support has fallen off a lot. Definitely not as popular as it used to be. Um, thanks to all the changes to him and stuff like that. It's a tough life, uh, but he's super good against a bunch of offlaners, and I would count Magnus as one of them. If you want to run this as a Magnus off Team Secrets, turn to bad puck! Puck will show up in our draft. It's going to go to my girl, Alicia. Ten seconds. Now, this is a way better name than Mitter Feed, by the way. They should just stick with this. Five seconds remaining. So that could be the mid lane for cancel. Could also be the off lane if they see a better matchup. They, they basically kind of have to just run away from this Monkey King, I feel like, with the Magnus. But, uh, yeah, Monkey King's been pretty popular in the safe lane. He, he zones out a lot of the poor offlaners. I, you know what? Screw it. He zones out every offlaner. Man, this guy is just obnoxious as hell. He's like Viper in the safe lane, right? You just, you can't do anything. It, it's like worse if you're in the lane than if you just weren't there. So, it's a bit difficult. Sometimes the hero just gets wildly out of control. It's eight minutes in, he gets an ultra kill, and it feels like the game's just over. Uh, but at the same time, they can also fall back to just being like an offlane shaker position for Monkey King for Yapsor. Uh, if they did have this as an offlane shaker, that would give them a lot of very long initiation range. If this was um, SFT, I would say they would pick actually an offlane Jakiro last. They've been doing a lot of strats like this where they have this like crazy long initiation range. That'd be pretty neat for Team Secret. I could appreciate that, but we'll see. Uh, plus, the offlane Jakir would also fit pretty well with their early game kind of a strategy. It's also decent counter initiation against combo strats with like Overgrowth, Magnus, Puck. Uh, but although offlane Jakiro's and like any core Jakiro really has been kind of popular in NA, right? We've seen it from I believe DC and Complexity are both picking it, uh, and as we just mentioned, SFT Esports are picking it. Who, by the way, are Awaiting in the final, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, they just won the other semifinal yesterday. The winner of this is looking to play them just a bit later. Thank you. Thank you for the overlay spam. Thank you. You guys got me. You got me covered. See, this is good. This is very important. Making sure that it's all going to be good once we actually get into the game. This is a five minute delay is brutal. Ugh. Final ban. So yeah. Other than that, though, it's it's super flexible for Team Secret, right? They could just pick like Chen again if they wanted to. <laughs> Honestly, 
Uh, but if you're trying to go fast, offlane shaker isn't very good, right? He takes a while to come online. He doesn't really do that much before blink. He can like come and Fisher block mid, and that's pretty much it. So we're probably looking for an empower tower target, right? They banned the juggernaut. Uh, high armor would also be nice. PA's decent, honestly. The evasion against the Monkey King's nice, but then you've got... Look at that damage from Pugna. You can be chain stunned by the Shaker, and then you have to worry about just Brain Sap and Fiend's Grip. So you kind of want, like, a Lincoln's carry or something, but... Are they just going to AM, I guess? In terms of just these obnoxious heroes, they're hard to bring down. Um, you do want Split, split Push, you want Late Game. They could also safe lane Ember. Now they're going to AM. It's, I feel like those are the only two options they had left. But now, this is where Team Secret, they just put the pedal down. It's time to go. And what do they choose? Templar it's going to be the Templar Assassin. Well, that is indeed pedal to the metal. We're going to pour out a little bit more coffee. We're going to be watching a Yapsor Earthshaker. The Fata Pugna. The Puppy Bane and the mid one MK. That might not be true. It could be a lie. Who knows? That's not a mid one MK. That's a mid one Templar Assassin. What are you talking about, Trent? It's the Tomato Monkey King. Sorry. Apologies. Why am I even awake? It's Sunday morning. For God's sake. Why did we have to reschedule for such a ridiculous time? Uh, Tomato on the Anti Mage. And Ace on the Monkey King, because he is on Team Secret. See, I'm sorry, guys. Seconds I apologize. Five seconds remaining. Wow, that actually worked. God bless. Thank you. Thank you so much. Prepare for battle. Okay. Uh, we need our hacks to come back online. There they are. Oh, good luck from cancel. And we are not going to switch over to net worth mega early this time. Perfect. Uh, great work on that remote production, Knoxville. You're killing it, dude. Killing it. No weird lanes or anything. Oh, what is this? <laughs> so he's starting with poor man shield and tangos. So they're looking to aggro. Yeah, they're going to go like for the like, aggro try. That's pretty nasty. I mean, you think about um, good heroes traditionally with Bane in terms of laning. Obviously, the Miranda's one of the big ones, right? You Nightmare to the Arrow. But uh, Nightmare to Static Link with Razor was always pretty cool because you're just stacking up a bunch of damage. And then you, know, you can get around to the perfect angle on them and then you just walk them down as they try and re uh, retreat to the tower. Kind of the same thing here. Uh, you can just Nightmare someone and then get around to the good spot, start right-clicking away with the Monkey King, stacking up with the Jingus. It's going to be a good time. The battle begins. Looks like they kind of understand what's happening. Kezu, nice little play down bomb to guarantee himself the bouncy rune. And that's going to put it three bounty runes to one. So, go next. Series is tied up at one to one. Easy game. How about our early awards? We didn't go over these things. We got the uh, Dire Observer Ward. Scouting out this general area. Looking to be very aggressive from the Radiant. They understand that, so they want to keep an eye on it. But there's a Radiant one here, too. So, both teams can have an understanding of what's going on through this passageway. What's with all the scribbling? Listen to me, Bastion announcer. Don't get snippy with me. Rainy Observer, Dire Observer. So both teams kind of having a vision in the same spot, and it will indeed be the Saxa Triant Protector, the Weeha Rubik. Obviously a little bit flashier on the Rubik, so 
more fitting for a wee hob, one would think. And the Ace Monkey King starts to do his thing. Some tri lane on tri lane action. And no neutrals or ward battles for us to watch and miss all the action with this time, guys. It's going to be a little bit better. Stack successful from Weehaw, so they're going to have that to look forward to for a pull. But uh, Ace has now gotten up to three stacks onto Tomato. So back he goes. Aren't you glad you're not this anti mage right now? Like, how awful would this be? Mid one, under the tower, crashing into cancel, get a self. And back top we go where all the action is. Oh, he goes for the uh, sneaky pull up here. You guys have seen this a couple times by now, I'm sure. But it's a it's a fairly crafty one. And when you can pull through a range creep like that, that's actually a pretty huge play from Weeha. It's going to allow the lane to actually push up a bit here and give Tomato a chance at some CS when he really shouldn't rightfully have any, right? Um, and it looks like they tried to get a Fisher block off, maybe, in terms of stopping that one, but weren't quite there in time. I'm scared they're going to go on him, but... Don't we, we want to watch this uh, CS Pog champ under tower. This is Tomato. Look, look at him go. Do you think this guy's gonna miss any last hits? Oh shit! All right, that was a bit rough. That that was ping. That was ping for Tomato. He still must be in South South America or something. He's not. He's in Europe. I'm just covering for him. Mid lane. Yeah, source coming through. Cancel's diving pretty deep. I mean, it's a TA. It's a pretty tough kill to grab. She also now has the bottle from the courier, so. We successfully have not yet missed First Blood. Yet. We know what's going to happen. It's fine. Yes. Soxa, though. Getting the punches off. Relatively squishy. Oh, has to use the Battle Strike trying to stun, like, the little bit of, like, a hitbox behind you. But it doesn't end up working out for him. That's going to be First Blood for the Anti-Mage. Lane recovered. 12 last hits. 3 denies. 3 heroes here. Doesn't even matter. I guess Yapsor wasn't there, technically. So they found a good moment to go in there. As uh, once again in the mid lane, it looks like they're trading some hits. Bottom, I am sure, is a snooze fest. Uh, we'll go down there maybe in a minute. Oh, a little Fisher block here. And we are going to be zoned out with the brain sap as well. Just some punches. We don't have to go back there, I don't think. Oh, oh, but Puck. Ugh. Are you okay? Yeah, he's fine. Uh, he's not okay over there, though. You know, there's three people going on. Eh, what can you do? We are goes down eventually. We, we did get there, but. Died all the way back here. He eh? just got run down by Soxa. Has the Orb of Venom. Getting punched. It's one thing Trand is very good at 94 base damage. Shadow Shaman at this point now has the second highest average damage, but look how like not even close it is. He almost has 20 damage on him. Trand Protector. It's like having a, a spell. The Zapsor is to clean up some of these last hits because uh, that's the second death. His TP was probably still in CD. Plus, you have this lovely courier thing to run yourself back up here. So, yeah, how's the Snooze Fest going? Now that there's going to be some levels in these skills, it'll get a little more entertaining. Mm, Kezu is just going to be zoned out. I mean, that's kind of what you expect. A little bit easier to work with the Nether Blast. Does a hell of a lot of damage. Has the bonus of having the Decrep too. So you can pretty much zone Kezu off the wave. A lot of shock wave farming, I'm sure, going on for him. Nope. Sox is going to be able to investigate where the sentries are here. Does he have any for himself, though? Is there one on Weeha? There is not. He's in the mid lane, though. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the second I set to click down there. Oh, they find Sox. Again, we know the sentry is close, but he can't quite get outside the range in time. And Weeha does not find his chance in the mid lane. He's going to have to slink his way back up top as he loses his tree. Felled down in his own lane. But Tomato, he's leading that dire side. He's well ahead of the Monkey King, that's for sure. Ace getting beat up a bit here. Looks like Kezu's managed to pull the wave back in between the towers. This is going to help him a lot. Going to need a pull from Fata, but he can't find the connection. Any bad news bears for him. Four need 10 for mid one. We haven't watched here too much, but old classic lane. Puck versus TA now. I'm no mid player. I've been told this is not nearly as one-sided as it was, which is true. In fact, I've been told the Puck might even have an advantage at this point, so it's looking pretty damn impressive from mid one. Obviously, there's all kinds of issues, right? It used to be that the, you couldn't see the refraction charges. Now you can see them. So with someone like Puck, you can just right-click down, and then once the refractions are gone, you can then use your spells and whatnot. Uh, plus, we don't often get pure 1v1s mid anymore. This has pretty much been a pure 1v1. There have been some like really small rotations so far, but by today's standards, this is basically just 
two guys going at it in the mud. And we'll just leave it at that. It's kind of muddy, I'm sure, on the shore by the river. It's like Woodstock here. Mid one looking for that top rune. Haste. Knocks me successful. Because it's puppy down bottom with a haste rune. Sees the puck. Chorus hasted Bane with no fiend script. Not much you can do. And well, with supports coming through, Bane, he's pretty far away. He's going to try and get himself here. The ambulance is coming, but it's not going to be here in time for mid one. Tries to fairy fire through it, but won't be enough healing. And Yaps or. Oh, sorry. We. Getting confused here with our Rubik's. Taunts his way back to the top lane. And Tomato left alone. Not even punished for it. It's our gold. 211 goes to cancels. He gets the kill. What sort of prize is this? Alright, it's currently like six minutes. Can you guys just spam net worth right now? So that I know at like 11 minutes or 12 minutes or so that I haven't put it on net worth yet. That would be great. Thank you. Saxo's coming through. Did he just get a bounty? He did. Can't tell if that was both or just his own, but either way. He's going through that rainy jungle. Decrap has... Uh, there's a rotation. Fats is here. Doesn't even take the bottom tower before he shows up top. Looks like they want to give some farm onto the Monkey King. Radiance bottom tower. And deservedly so. 26 and 3. He could use a little bit more. It does get rude left here. Shockwave down. And the skewer ace. Man. They're doing a great job of punishing this Monkey King pick. He really wants to snowball out of that early game, but he is not getting a chance to. Especially considering like how late into the draft it came. He's still doing a good job. Decrep up. Fisher won't connect. Pretty hard to harass an anti mage, obviously, but. Oh, man. All right. That did pretty well. Tomato, back to the CS life. Especially this Pugna's... Like, he can't even last it, because Pugna's just going to either decrep you or blast you like that when he give you an opportunity. So that tower's starting to go down. Talk about pressuring safe laners. This is also going pretty well. And I don't think he's laying up anytime soon. He's got the Arcane Boots. Double Arcane Boots with the Absor there, too. And this tower is target number one for... <laughs> <laughs> for the Radiant as we are continues his taunting. Oh, jeez. Mid lane. Sox is way in behind. Fisher again. Jeez, we don't have to go anywhere. Mid lane. Cancel. He's doing pretty well ever since that gank. Almost caught back up in terms of experience. Did he actually get it with the root? Sox a god. He saw the courier come through. They had this ward as well, but I did not think he was going to be able to get it. Two points in the nature's guys. Secured. Nicely done. Damn. Owned. Decrep Fisher Blast. Your tower is next. And talked about the treant in terms of like the value that we've seen from the hero before. Generally comes from just trying to hold these. You, you do everything you can, right? You can't let these towers go down early. He's got two points in the living armor now. Oh, even if you save your towers, though, it might cost you hero socks. Not coming through as well, but the trees actually go down thanks to the Rubik, but he leaves one tree there, and so they'll be able to keep the root. That was a bit risky. Weeha getting a little bit uh, ambitious on the deforestation, but now it's your mid lane tower. You got to clear these waves. They got two pretty decent wave clears. Oh, get that, get that deny. Oh, mid one. That's not the mid one I know. Held to back away, but drawing plenty of attention into the mid lane, which means Ace is free. He's catching back up. All right, it's 10 minutes. I'm going to hit the net worth. I remembered a little bit early, so thank you for your net worth spam in advance. Pretty uh, healthy, dire chunk up there. But what about the Radiant? Uh, what's our game plan? It looks pretty similar to last game, right? Want to blow up some towers? Man, this Living Armor has still just been working on it, but they're really going to focus this one down. They want the kill on the Rubik. Nightmare into the blast with the decrep. Ulti thrown on there too, just to guarantee it. And I think they're going to lose this one. There's only so much you can do. Top tower is and it won't be enough. There's no more glyph left. Already been used. Dyer's Down she goes. Now for the mid lane. This tower is also relatively weak. I think mid one's pinging out saying, hey, if you guys rotate here, I think we can still do this. 
Radiant Oscar. Meanwhile, Soxa is just after some bounty runes. Oh, they're really trying to bring some attention back to this top lane. They're not even going to make the rotation. Mid one's able to pressure so much by himself. He's drawn the Rubik here. They have to keep on healing. And they're actually going to try and split the defense of the train protector. Cancel has to come up here to clear the wave. And maybe that'll be enough of a response that they actually back out here. There's also no TP for five more seconds. Sox is just like soaking up some experience here. Have to get across that big gap. There you go. Windlace helping you out there. And oh yeah. This feels good as a tree protector. Dude, dude. Oh, you're insane! You're insane! The madman. Is he gonna die for it? Oh, they don't have any dust or anything? Jeez, that was a risky play to go for. Ah, uh, what a warrior. Alright, Sox are just scouting it out. And meanwhile, Monkey King, he's still doing this thing. Looks like, uh, I would guess this is the Echo Saber build. Probably not going to be Mask Madness. It could be, though. That'd be a little bit intense. Kind of take away a little bit of your mobility, I would think. So just going to be the Echo Saber standard, I'm sure. How about Kezu? We haven't seen a lot from him this game. Probably going to go blink into Midas, more than likely. You're playing with an AM. Kind of know how the game's gonna go. Mid lane, there's a Fisher. Cancel already uses his orb aggressively. It looks like, and he'll be okay. He'll get back. <laughs> Show net worth. See, you guys are so helpful. This is great. You missed Rax kill in the future. Damn, that's actually depressing because you're like 20 minutes early, and you're still probably right. A little bit of lag going on here from mid or feed right now. Ah, uh, another casual pause. Hope your guys' Sunday morning's going well. Uh, will I swallow a can if I miss one more gank? I'm not as hardcore as Grant. That is for sure. You guys should know that by now. Puppy's drawn an interesting line on the map. Uh, it seems to point this way. Is that a, uh, a focus on the bottom tower? Was it going this way and I just kind of missed it? Find out after this pause. Because I'm not sure. Oh, right now, they're ready. They're good to go. Ah. And it quickly jumps into the trees to not get RP'd out of a pause or something. And yeah, we're just going Echo Saber. Nothing too crazy here. The die, they're wrapping around here. We got level six on Soxa. Oh, oh no. Ah, where'd it go? That's so badly he needs his living armor. Can't even afford an ulti. Can't lose these towers. Gotta heal him up. Oh, Monkey King is here. I Yeah, they would not have been able to see that. They have no idea he's all the way up here. Alright, guys. I've deciphered the line. The it was this way. Monkey King has rotated. How exciting. Socks, I don't think they have any detection still. Yeah, they don't. So, won't be able to chase him down. He'll just be his obnoxious little self over on the side. Has the Tranquil Boots as well. Uh, definitely big fan. I think I would call that probably the best boot on Triant right now. Arcane Boots are nice. Sure, you can keep the spam going. But if you guys take a look at Triant, he's got this lovely talent. Plus two mana regen. Although most people still go for the uh, 30 attack speed, to be honest. You can just buy a Soul Ring. You guys know that item's uh, all OP at this point. But uh, the faster you are, the further you can cover, right? Because the way Nature's Guys works, basically like checks for a tree ever so often. So, the the further you move, then uh, obviously the faster you're going, the further you can go while well, it's checking. You know how it goes. That's why you could do things like that cheeky little be invis by a tree and blink out here and, and root somebody. But one of those changes that's kind of made the hero a little bit more difficult to execute. Not necessarily for the better of the hero, but definitely better for balance. He was a little ridiculous. I'll give you that. But yeah, source life. Not quite as easy uh, to farm quickly. This game on the Shaker compared to the Rubik. He was a busy Shaker. He's roaming around, throwing out some fishers. Top lane Ace. Man, Ace has just been 
in the freedom zone all game. Every lane, there's never anyone there. It's just not even worth being around this guy. Uh, we haven't also seen uh, Tomato in quite a while, too. And we haven't talked much about this Deso. Ever since mid one picked it up, he's still just kind of been mid. Maybe not getting all too much in terms of uh, objectives, but Ancients have been going down. He's had a couple stacks. And he'll go right into another one, so... We'll probably have to look for Roshan next, right? Generally, the uh, the plan with the Templar Assassin stacks are trying to scout out exactly what the plan is here for the Radiant. And he's in behind once again. Where are we healing up now? Down the bottom lane. Be the tower with the pressure on top of it. So, 15 minutes in. Pugna TA, you've only lost one tower. I'm going to call that a win if I'm the Dire. I have an anti-mage on my team. He's not currently empowered. Kezu's uh, empowering himself. He's up to the four points, though. Oh, Dream Call in the mid lane on top of mid one. Has the Desolator and Soxa. Trying to survive, but he will be the sacrificial lamb. Oh, goes to the fiend script. There's gonna be a phase shift there. Now Ace throws out the ulti. It's way up onto that high ground, and they do eventually grab cancel. Help the Fisher, they'll bring him down. There's a stolen Wukong's command from the Monkey King, and it gets canceled once, but Weehaw does eventually get it out there. Can't find the damn jeez. Uh, Venn diagram of death here in the mid lane, but does eventually fall without grabbing the monkey king that he wanted. Radiance top tower is under attack. And Fata will start to push mid. See him uh, right-clicking down the living armor before he throws out the nether blast. What a player. Look, oh, look at that sit. Look at Fata, God. Decrepping the catapult here, guys. Do you see how many levels he's working on right now? And he still can't get through. Train protector. Yeah, that's a... Okay, we saved mid. It's fine. Four points, living armor. No ulti required. Yes. And mid one's doing that whole uh, ancient thing again. He's, he's getting quite rich. I don't know if you guys have looked, but uh, he's going to be doubling up on the Sandy Mage pretty soon if he doesn't get some empowers on him. Soxa again. Living his life inside the Radiant Jungle. Is he doing enough? He's scouting out the actions. It's hard to tell exactly, right? He just keeps on basically throwing up heals onto the towers. Keeping an eye on who could be rotating. Trying to target down this anti-mage. Oh, they're smoked up. They know Treant's around. They have a dust, though. Are they going to pop it? Oh, there's the sentry. They know. Uh, they're going to have to dust. Hello? All right, jeez. I was getting a bit worried there for a second. <laughs> Uh, so down he goes. Kill goes to Ace. 200 gold. And he's finally punished for all the scouting that he's been doing. Meanwhile, Yapsor's been farming down here for quite a while. Almost as a blink dagger. Quickly blinking into the mid lane. It's Templar Assassin. Doesn't even pop the DD rune mid one so confident. Did you guys see that Titor skill, by the way? Right, bottom to mid instantaneously. Thank you, Knoxville Remote Production. He's on it. And uh, we bring down the tower. And we're going to move into the Roche Pit. DD rune still active. Arcane rune to boot. In the bottle. Out of the bottle. On to Roche we go. And Kezu has the Blink Dagger. He's ready to go. He's ready to save this game single-handedly. Cancel scouts it out. This will be the YouTube video you watch every day for years for the new The Play, as it's the Dire coming through, looking for the play. Mid one still in the pit. There's an Atos to start. They're slowing down Soxa. He doesn't have ulti for the big wombo combo that we need for this to become an epic play, remembered for all time in the history of Dota 2. And so I don't know if we're going to get it. Kezu looking for it. Wukong's command zone. He's inside. There's the RP. It's onto a couple. Mid one brought back out the echo slam on Thomas from Yasuo for the counter initiation though. Oh no, Soxa throws out a heal. It's all they can do. Anti Mage throws out the ulti, but Fata's still alive. The Pugna survives. He bangs down the Rubik too. They all live. Oh. Okay, we're still gonna get the YouTube play for all time, but it's actually for the Radiant. Because they're gonna keep Roche. They're up 6k. Monkey King cleans up the most with 775, and four heroes are dead for the dire. Oh, the plays. Oh, they were beautiful. have a moment of silence for Sox as he loses all his best friends because he's only a train what can he do oh the radiant now the blink the aegis the deso a terrifying trifecta Dyer's top tower is under attack. terrifyingly triumphant at that 
As mid one clears out the wave and says, Train Protector, would you like to try and save a tower? Radiant's bottom tower is under it might not even be worth the living armor, to be honest with you. Oh, bottom lane. Socks up. Oh, eliminated. Yeah, still safe from the decrep. Some great synergy there in the draft. Radiance bottom tower has been denied. Instantly goes down. So, tower went down. They deny bottom. And now they press forward to grab one more for themselves. As this train protector is dead. Tower won't be saved. Weeha, not so taunty now, is he? Ato stopped. Stunned, sucked dry, and dead. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Another another blast about to come out. Oh, okay, living armor. Makes the plays now. Fata's a bit angry. <laughs> and the glyph. They're making them work for it. This is good. This is the efficiency plays that you get yelled at if you don't do, so I'm impressed. Oh, another living armor. Alright, he's like, wait, this guy's gotta be around here somewhere. They're gonna try and make some play to save this tower. I knew it. There he is. And they get the kill. Ace turning up. After that top lane. 7, 2, and 4. Fata back top. Oh, well, he goes to push away the AM. Now Kezzer's in. Oh, the nightmare! Mid RP from Puppy! The catapult does clean up the tower, but Kez is gonna pay for it. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Whoop! They found Rubik. Oh, the T Tour strikes again. Knoxville production. And we're back in. Look, man, what a great hire. I'm so glad I got this guy. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, cancel. It's been a rough series for him, man. It feels like he can't do much that i mean they had that one good play right at the pit where like that's an opportunity for a puck where it feels good but they just couldn't find the plays they were already ahead by quite a bit on the radiant side you got yaps are almost into a shadow blade this guy's a support he's tied with your offlaner and net worth he's got so much gold Invisibility. and ace again Doing these Monkey King things. Now, it is nighttime. See, this is Monkey King at night. It's not It's not that impressive, is it? It's pretty obnoxious to actually play. It's hard to see anything. Oh, speaking of seeing, they are seeing the trees. And Soxa once more goes down. Yep, so attempts to KS. Nice try. Greedy support player. Won't be successful this time. All right. We're going to be able to take this one down, too. The creeps are coming soon. Mid one, will you say? I mean, that's a lot of time to stick around just for a tower. Yeah, mid one's okay with that, it looks like. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, my God. He doesn't even... Where is he? There he is. Okay. I didn't even see the puck and all that. Sorry. Hero portraits. My bad. Okay. I mean, but now we can watch this tower die, which I know is what you guys all want anyway. So we'll just keep it here no matter what happens on the rest of the map. And it'll be fine. Scan from the Radiant in the mid lane. They say, hey, there's heroes here. Keep pushing bottom. Everything's fine. Dyer's Meanwhile, puppy's hunting for the AM. Oh, they're going to get it. Kezu tries to get forward. Ooh, ace. Jeez, that was actually really close to him dying. And tower is down. Oh, this tree protector's in the sad zone. It's not even worth saying, is that it's just sad at this point. Quick annihilation on our train protector one. What's he at now? Seven deaths. Zero seven five. Has he even overgrowth this game? I don't think he has. He hasn't had the opportunity. Oh, they're gonna find Tomato. Oh, he's the shot, but he's being gripped up. And down he goes. 23 to 5, 14k lead. Dyer's middle tower. And we keep pushing the tier two mid. <laughs> uh, well, if you didn't tune in for game one, 
we did have uh, quite the situation. We were here for a while. All right. It looked pretty over. To oh, cancel. Okay. Just clearing the wave. Got to be careful, though. Nice job. Keeps himself alive. Impressive. Yapsor's getting ready to jump in, though. Oh, no. We hop. Atos to follow as Yapsor coming through. And it might just be Ace. Thinking about going Storm Refractions to keep him alive for a little bit, but they are going to be forced to pop a shrine. Just to make sure they don't follow any further. Yapsor, staying back. He's not going in too early. But yeah, basically, they held out for a while. Um, how's the holdout this game? Uh, it is an AM and an anti mage, right? You have these games where it looks like it's over. Oh, hey, look at this. They're smoked up behind the amp, but the Fisher actually catches those hiding in the back. Kezu still waiting, looking for his big RP play, but he doesn't have a four staff. He only has the blink dagger, so he can't make any play up the side here. And that means cancel is just gonna die. It looks good. I see what they were trying to do. They're all smoked up in behind, but the Fisher catches a few that were smoked up there. And so the bait was unsuccessful. The hidden values of Earthshaker, you never knew he had. Unintentionally. Stunning smoked heroes. Okay. Uh, what's our uh, Roche timer here? It may respawn in one minute. So we don't want to go too crazy. All right. Okay. Kezu. Shadow Amulet plays. Eh, but he's suddenly over on the other side. He was here, guys. I swear. I had him. I had him just a second ago. Okay, there's the RP. Bringing him back near the tier 4s. Buyback from the Rubik. We all looking to do something. But there's the Echo Slam from Yapsor on top of Kezu. He's dead. No buyback. Yapsor going to have a Fisher here in a second still. And they're still diving deeper. We are in trouble. Ace might go for a play here. Let's look for the jump. He's not going to do it. They're chilling out. Back, back, back. Get the towers. Mid one just absolutely slaying the past two days. Oh, and there's another They're like look at the long range stun they have against this puck it's actually so good because if he tries to use orb to make any sort of escape play he's gonna get boundless striked or fissured every single time we've seen jakiro has been doing the same thing lately it's interesting to see people find these like long range stuns to try and deal with them that's how they just decrep into the fisher and god bless it's a 2-0 and my solo cast journey is over oh golly g wilkers batman well, I hope you all enjoyed the wonderful journey that was Trent's basement production. Ah, I know I did. 10 a.m. Sunday. It's time to go to church, guys. Jeez, I got to go wash away my sins. Just kidding. I don't go to church. All right, let's take a look.